Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, and this is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 o'clock market update does up 136.18 36,189 and we're looking at the all-time high of 36,565 and that was uh, seven days ago so to see if this is going to continue higher if there is a close today's high is 36,294 if there's a close certainly in the 36,300s then there's a really good chance that you're going to retest the highs of 36,565 most importantly if there's going to be a failure this will become a peak a minus because all of a sudden you're looking at the dow sliding over the next couple of days below 30,000 first of all it'd have to be 30,000 uh, sorry, 36,000, and then it'll have to be 35,850. So watch that closely. You're looking at the S&P. S&P at this particular point is trading up 12 at 4695, made an all-time high at 4718.50, and has pulled back since then, and now it's trying to recoup the gains has got weekly uh, resistance in that channel right there we're looking at the qqq ndx 100 trading up a dollar 35 395.95 got a bit of a way to go to the 400.99 all-time high but it's acting quite nicely here iwm has been very weak and it's down 57 cents at 237.94 i uh, very weak in the last couple of days but in fact it went to an all-time high of 244. looking at gold gold's pulling back a little bit it's only down four at 1863 Having made a leg, I, this is a tough one for me. Is it a leg F or is it a brand new B? We don't know, but it's very, been very good action. But isn't it something very interesting? The diamonds, the DXY, sorry, the, the dollar has made a, a new recovery high. And it's only a leg C in the Chevrolet Way methodology. So I, I just before we wrap up, I just want to mention tonight, I'll be the guest uh, speaker for the Boston Investors Group uh, virtual meeting. Um, I'm the guest host, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock Eastern Time. If you want to go to the front, just go to the Boston Investors Group uh, uh, on, on Google it and you'll get it and you'll get all the information for tonight. Should be really interesting. Two hours and I have questions coming, being questioned. Some questions have been coming in. I'll deal with those tonight and we're going to do a, it should be a fun time. I always enjoy it because there are fundamental analysts there as well as technical. And you sometimes get a question that you have to rethink everything because it's a fundamental rather than technical. So if today the Dow um, after two o'clock is holding nicely above plus 60, that's a good sign for the close. If there's a give back and for any reason, I don't care what the reason, if all of a sudden it's just plus 20, it says starting to stall, watch it closely. Have a great rest of the day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzamento. He's got his workshop coming up tomorrow and then you've got programming all day. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.